Thank you for tuning in to Everything Valves, the channel dedicated to bringing you Everything Valves. In today's video, we will discuss various topics required by the API 6D specification. Each organization's procedure will vary, but everyone must follow the same requirements detailed in the specification. Let's get into the video. This video is for informational purposes only. What is API 6D? API 6D is a specification for pipeline and piping valves. This specification defines the requirements for the design, manufacturing, assembly, testing, and documentation of various valves. What is API 6D hydrostatic testing? API 6D specification covers various requirements that must be met when performing a test. From this table of contents, you can see various requirements. An API 60 hydrostatic testing procedure. If you have or are looking to obtain the API 60 monogram, you must have a pressure testing procedure. Each organization's procedure will vary in some areas depending on company size, valve testing, and more. Everyone must follow the testing guidelines detailed in the 60 specification. Testing procedure overview that we will be going over in today's video will cover testing media, method of enclosure, gauges, testing sequence, testing requirements, and pressure test results. Today's video is sponsored by AITG, leader in valve technology and service. Testing media. Hydrostatic testing shall be conducted with water. If valve service precludes the use of water as a test liquid, kerosene will be used. Temperature of test fluid shall not exceed 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Method of enclosure. Where possible, valve shall be tested on a test rack where ram pressure will not be used forcing opposite ends towards each other. On valves where it is not practical to test on the test rack, Blind flanges will be used. From these photos, you can see blind flanges being used to perform the hydrostatic test. Gauges. All pressure testing gauges will be certified at least every 12 months. Gauges shall be accurate to at least plus or minus 0.5% of the full scale range. Gauges shall only be used between 25% and 75% of the gauge's full range. A log shall be kept for each gauge with the ID number, calibration date, and due date. Tags shall be placed on each gauge indicating the following. Serial number or ID number of the gauge. Date of calibration. Due date for next calibration and company performing the calibration. From this photo you can see a sample of a tag detailing all of the information. Testing sequence. Pressure testing shall be performed on the fully assembled valve prior to painting. The stem backseat testing shall be performed prior to the shell test. Each valve shall first be given the shell test at pressure specified in API 6D. After the shell test, the valve shall be given a seat test to each seat at pressure specified in API 6D. For double block and bleed valves, after all tests have been performed, test pressures shall be applied in both directions at the same time with the valve closed and the body vent open. In this photo, you can see a valve being tested with blind flanges and performing a shell test. In this photo, they are performing a seat test. Testing requirements. Test pressures and holding time shall be in accordance with API 6D. Acceptance for leakage shall be in accordance with API 6D. In these tables, you can reference minimum test pressures, minimum test duration, and allowable leakage rates. Valve's internal cleanliness shall be maintained during hydrostatic test and seat leakage tests. Upon completion of the test and before shipment, all valves shall be completely drained of test fluid and dried. 
The machine surfaces shall be coated with a light film or high viscosity rust inhibiting oil. Pressure test results. Only personnel properly trained and qualified shall be authorized to interpret the results. A pressure test report shall be issued showing test results, date, and stamped or signed by the inspector. I hope this video gave you an understanding of an API 6D testing procedure. If you would like to see an actual API 6D test performed on a valve, please comment down below. Thank you for watching the video. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.